Okay, I've been outside for like two minutes and I'm already sweating, so I apologize if it looks like I'm melting in this video. I'm Sophia, if you're new here. I'm a second year at the University of Virginia. I like to just share my life with you guys. I do a lot of vlogs, a lot of like health, lifestyle related videos. And you should definitely subscribe if you aren't already. So this past year, I kind of took you guys along as I went through not only my first year, but like preparing for my first year. I vlogged shopping for my dorm. I vlogged moving into my dorm. But now that I've completed my first year and I'm looking back on it, I definitely have like a lot more wisdom, I would say, on everything in general, just life in general. But I definitely have like a better idea of what you should and you shouldn't bring to college. There was just so many things that I packed and bought that I didn't need to and it just ended up creating like a lot of extra clutter in my dorm. There was also a lot of things that I forgot. There was some things that I wish I had bought like a different version of. So today I'm going to be giving you a list of things that you should and you shouldn't bring to your college freshman dorm. The list I created I think is things that a lot of people don't think of so I hope that this is helpful to you guys. If you have any other videos or questions at all about your first year of college, please let me know. You can reach out to me in the comments down below. My Instagram DMs are always open. I'm going to start out with what you should bring. So I would definitely bring disposable bowls and cups and plates. I bought like glass Tupperware and then I used the Tupperware as like my bowls and my plates. I wish I had gotten just like paper bowls or paper plates. It's just is a lot less of a headache than having to like wash all of your bowls and plates and spoons and knives every single time you use them. Definitely get a robe. You're probably going to have to use like a communal bathroom and that means you're going to have to like walk down your hall to get to the bathroom and it's just nice to have like a robe or something to like cover you other than a towel. I would like wear my robe and then wrap my hair in a towel once I like finished with my shower and then I would get ready in my robe and it was just really comfortable so I didn't have to change right away. When you're getting a laundry hamper you want to get one that has like handles on it and you want it to be pretty large like you don't want it to be too small because then you're gonna have to do laundry just like over and over and over again because it's gonna fill up really fast so definitely get something that's like sturdy has handles so you can walk it to the laundry room something that isn't too flimsy I think I got mine at Target for like $10 I would definitely get a speaker it's nice to have if you have like friends over in your dorm and you want to play music it's a lot nicer than just having to like play it on your phone you can use it in the shower a lot of people would listen to music in the shower so you maybe get like a waterproof one if you want if you go to like the lawn or you're outside with your friends going to hike or anything eating outside it's just nice to have a speaker shower shoes this is kind of like a given I feel like everyone knows now that you have to have shower shoes but these can literally be any form of like water resistant shoes I thought I had to get like specific shower shoes but you can literally just wear like flip-flops um, my roommate Morgan got like Birkenstocks that were rubber so they can really be any pair of shoes that are water resistant you don't have to like get specific shower shoes. This is just from my personal experience. I wish I had gotten something to organize like my makeup and my jewelry. I had one of those like four drawer organizers which are really helpful. I'll put a picture here of like what I'm talking about. Those are actually really helpful to have in your dorm so I'd recommend getting one of those because it's nice to have extra storage. I would like just throw my makeup and my jewelry in there and it was like a big jumbled mess. So I wish I had gotten something to like actually organize my makeup and my jewelry. Command strips. I actually got a DM the other day of like how I hung up all my stuff on my dorm without getting like the paint chipped off or like having to use a hammer and a nail command strips you have to use those they sell like super big packs on Amazon for really cheap I think I just got like a jumbo pack on there I can probably get them at like Costco or something I used a lot I used a lot when I first moved in and then also like throughout the year I found other things that I wanted to hang up in my dorm so I would definitely get more than you think that you need my next one is a long USB cord <laughs> so this is just really for convenience but it's nice to have like a super long USB cord to charge your phone at night so that you don't have to like reach over or anything. I would recommend getting a rug just to make your dorm feel a little bit more homey. I got a five foot by seven foot rug. I got a question about that on Instagram too. And definitely get a vacuum. Um, Morgan and I's rug was so 
disgusting at the end of this year. There was so many just like disgusting stains on it, half of which I didn't even know how they got there. Um, so definitely get a vacuum. They sell like really cheap ones online that are pretty small. The next one is ambient lighting. So most dorms have like that ugly fluorescent lighting that's like overhead, but I would definitely get like a lamp or something. You can get those LED lights. Those are really popular. Morgan and I had string lights on our window so we could turn off the overhead light and then have like that on with two of our desk lamps and the lighting was just like a lot nicer. I didn't realize how much of a difference lighting can make in a room. It just makes it feel a lot more homey rather than like you're staying in a school's facility, I guess. Trash bags. You don't realize how much trash you're going to go through, especially if you have like friends over and you're eating and you're drinking in your dorm. Get trash bags. I would look up if your school gives you like a waste bucket. Our dorm gave us two waste buckets, one for each of us, but some of your schools might not. So I would look that up online. If they don't give you one, I would definitely buy a trash can or something to like keep your trash in. Mattress pad for sure. I don't think there's like a single bed given to you in a dorm that is completely comfortable. I think mattress pads will just save your entire life. It makes a huge difference on how comfortable it is. I think I got mine at like Bed Bath & Beyond and it was pretty comfortable. When you're buying sheets, I would get like two sets. That way when you're cleaning one set of sheets, you can just put the other set on and you don't have to like wait for your laundry to be done. A picnic blanket. So I got like a fleece UVA blanket as a grad gift last year and I just used that whenever I would go to the lawn or like sit outside with my friends and that was the worst idea ever because I would get like mulch and mud and grass in it and it was like a fleece blanket. Like it was not meant to be put on the ground. So I definitely would recommend getting an actual picnic blanket that's water resistant that you can actually put down on the ground and like clean and not have to like pick out chunks of grass from it. I would get a bed pocket. I think that's what it's called. Not totally sure. I didn't have one of these but a lot of my friends who had lofted beds would get that so it would be easy to put like your book or your phone or water right next to your bed because you can't really have like a bedside table when your bed is all the way up towards the ceiling. Also if you have a lofted bed or any bed that's like a little bit off the ground, get something to step onto your bed with. So they have like storage ottomans. I was about to get one of those but then I just ended up getting this little trunk that I put my shoes in. I would get air freshener or like an essential oil diffuser. I had one at the beginning of the semester and it was really nice but then it like stopped working. Dorms get really musty and smell really gross really easily especially if like you don't take out your trash leave food hanging around it's just really easy for it to feel like gross in there so it's nice to have some air freshener or something to like help with the scent a little bit I would recommend getting detergent pods over liquid detergent it's just so much easier because you can just bring one in your hand rather than having to take like a whole gallon of detergent down to the laundry room with you also get dryer sheets very important and clean the dryer lint tray no one in my dorm ever did that I always would have to clean it and it would be so disgusting every time I did my laundry so clean the dryer lint tray I would definitely bring like a light blanket other than the blanket you're gonna use to sleep with I just had one at the end of my bed and it was nice to use if I needed like a nap or something I didn't want to get all the way under the covers or if I got cold and I was sitting at my desk it was nice if you're bringing your fridge or if you have like the option to choose what type of fridge you get, I would definitely recommend getting one with a big freezer. We didn't really have like a big freezer in our fridge and it was like a little difficult at times because we would want to make like smoothies and stuff and have frozen fruit but we didn't have anywhere to freeze it and also like having ice would be nice or your water or anything like that so definitely get like a big freezer if you have the ability to choose what type of fridge and freezer you get when it comes to like cleaning stuff down Clorox wipes will save you it's so much easier than having to use like paper towels and Windex or anything like that Clorox wipes also are like really disinfectant so it's nice definitely gonna want some like extension cords or those things that you plug into an outlet and then it gives you like a lot more outlets. I don't know what that's called. I'll put a picture in. You'd be surprised how many things you actually end up plugging into the wall. So you're gonna need some stuff to help with that. Definitely bring band-aids. That's something that I almost forgot but actually came in a lot of handy. Makeup mirror is nice. We had like a lint... 
We had like a full length mirror inside of our wardrobe, but it was nice to have like a small mirror on my desk to do my makeup and my hair and stuff while I was sitting down. I would bring like a duffel bag or a small suitcase or a big bag or something to use if you go on like an overnight trip or if you go to like the beach with your friends or go on like a little road trip with your friends or you just go home for the weekend. An umbrella, oh my god, I forgot this. And in college, your first year, you're basically walking everywhere if you don't have your car, so an umbrella is definitely important. Alright, I'm now going to talk about things that you shouldn't bring or you don't really need to bring a coffee maker I bought like a cute little Keurig that was really tiny and I was so excited for it and I used it like maybe five or ten times don't get me wrong it was like nice and cute to like make my coffee in my dorm and not have to go anywhere or pick it up from anywhere but I don't know if I really wanted to get coffee I would be more inclined to like go to a coffee shop and pay for it and then do my homework there rather than having to be like stuck in my dorm I feel like I was just trying to leave my dorm at any chance I could so having a coffee maker there just didn't really make any sense and the coffee also was just like a lot better at Starbucks or like the coffee shops that we have in Charlottesville so you don't really need a coffee maker that was like a hundred dollars that I really didn't need to spend the next one is like an ironing board or a steamer or anything like that I thought it was so cool because I brought like a mini steamer with me and I was like oh my god I'm never gonna have wrinkles then I realized that you can literally just use like a flat iron to iron your clothes and it's a lot more convenient so yeah and my last one is a printer I'm pretty sure every single school allows you to print for free or at least at UVA they allow you to print for free you don't really need a printer in your dorm it is convenient to print stuff in your dorm but you don't need it like I said okay my camera's about to die and I'm melting and I look like a ghost right now but I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it till the end I'll see you in my next one Bye.